Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Service Round 911. In today's video, we are discussing about one important HRSE concept that is life cycle events. So till now, we have understood what is HRST, how we can use it, complete courses available, right? But using a life cycle event, we are moving a step ahead. Let me show you how. You see here, this is the definition. Life cycle event enable the fulfillment of HR cases that are related to various employee journey and transition. So again, life cycle event is a kind of fulfillment step which the HR uses to tackle HR cases. And these HR cases are not very simple, but these are clubbed, grouped, or you can say having multiple journey or departments included. It means it's a long workflow, okay? It's a long process. It's a you know, all together different workflows are there which are combined. So we have to take care of various approvals, various departments all together under one name. And that is life cycle event. And we will treat this life cycle event as a HR service. You see, furthermore, the life cycle event help to facilitate daily activities among various cross functional process and departments. It means this is a kind of HR service which is available or which can be availed, but there is a great possibility of having more than one department, more than one cross-functional processes to be associated in that particular HR service, okay? And then we finally acquire it. So now let me show you an instance. If we go to lifecycle events, scroll down, you see here lifecycle event is there. We have lifecycle cases, open it. You will see all the necessary out of box life cycle cases available here. So again, this is a simple case as we have cases in the previous sessions. The same HR cases are there, but these cases are for life cycle events. It means we are defining a particular life cycle event as a HR service. So now let me open it. Just check out the name of the table, HR life cycle event case and the HR services, new hire onboarding, okay? Rest all things are almost same. You know what is the case, how to handle a case. Okay, now let me go to this particular service. Let's open it, click on open record. You can see this is the corresponding HR service. The name is new hire onboarding and this is on topic detail this. Whereas the CO is HR lifecycle event case. So that's why all the cases are created under this particular table only, okay? You see the template, you see the record producer, everything is associated with this particular new HR service, which is corresponding to a lifecycle event. So now let's go to lifecycle events. If you come here, you see these are the lifecycle event, click on manage lifecycle events. There are few out of box life cycle events. Let me open the same that is new hire onboarding. So this is how the interface of life cycle event is there. Out of box, you can see name, some description and what is the event here? It can be any one of this. Right now this is onboarding, okay? So you can create your own life cycle event like this, but creating a life cycle event is more of a responsibility because it's a combination of various activities, various departments. How you can see that? You can just move to the next step. That is activity sets. Click on it and you see this is how it is configured. You can see here various activity sets. These activity sets are nothing but the workflow, you know, which is the first tab, which is the second and each activity set is composed of various activities. So you see at the very beginning we have pre-hire. And under pre-hire, we have various activities like open for request, subject request, create a new action plan, account notification, drug screening, background check. All these are pre-hire activities. In the same way, we have the next activity set, which is a pre-boarding, okay? Under pre-boarding also, we have various activities. So you can create a number of activities under a particular set. You see, if I click on pre-hire, if I click here in add activity, I got all the options to create a, I get all the option to create a new activity, okay? What is the type? Everything I'm able to configure here. You can use any type here, like it is employer, fulfiller, if it is a flow, if it is a content, if it is a kind of activity container, or if it is a notification, everything is possible here. 
if you create a new activity so based on your choice based on your process based on your requirement you can create n number of activities like this okay and you have the option to create n number of activity sets like this after pre-boarding we have day one then week one then we have resigned activity resigned activity means in case the event get cancelled okay so all the things whichever you have done here in these activity sets will get bounced back okay so or get deleted that's why we have this resigned activity for example this is for new hire onboarding so you everything was going well but uh, as soon as the employee join after one month or one day the employee is not coming to the office it means the employee is now bounced back he's not turning up the office so that's why you need to delete all the other possible things you need to close all activities that's why we have this recent activity here so you can see here this is how this particular new hire onboarding is configured you have the option to create your own this is the one which I have added. I just remove it. Okay. This is the test. And you can create one more from here. Click on here. Add new. What? You want to add a new activity set. Provide some details. And based on your workflow, based on your choice, you can create your new activity set. So creation is not a big deal here. How to formulate this? How to tackle with each and every department? How to how to process the request is a big deal here so that's why before creating a new lifecycle event you have to think a lot you have to you know get in touch with all the stakeholders you have to create a proper workflow then only you can create it because it takes a lot of time and in case if it misses anything all the efforts will, will go in vain so i hope you understand what is a lifecycle event what are the importance of lifecycle event how to configure it how what is the connection between a life cycle event and the HR service? Okay. Ultimately, we are going to use it for different, different purposes, but we have to be very sure about this formulation. So I'll meet you in next video. Till then, let me know if you have any question. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.